This is a lesson on dilution factor. The dilution factor is the multiple times the more concentrated solution is diluted, becoming less concentrated. For example, a 2 mole per liter sodium hydroxide solution is diluted to give 1 mole per liter solution. This is a 2 times dilution. We call this a 2 fold dilution. To calculate dilution factor, divide the higher concentration by the lower concentration. A more accurate method of dilution involves using accurate glassware such as the pipette and volumetric flask. In this example, an aliquot of 5.00 mL of 0 0.500 moles per liter sodium chloride is drawn into a pipette so that the solvent waters meniscus is just in line with the measuring line on the pipette. The 5.00 mL solution in the pipette is then transferred to a 250 mL volumetric flask. Water is then added to the volumetric flask until the meniscus of water is lined up or touches the measuring line on the volumetric flask. The technique that follows is what we do in the lab. This is where we use a piece of paper towel to remove any clinging water droplets from the side of the volumetric flask just before the surface of the water. After this, the flask is capped and shaked to completely mix the solution. What is the concentration of sodium chloride in the volumetric flask? We could use the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2, rearranging so that C2 is isolated on one side to find its concentration. This is another example of the dilution factor. Let's re-examine our one-step dilution. Recall, in the example, 5.00 mL of 0 0.500 mole per liter sodium chloride NaCl was diluted to a total solution volume of 250 mL in a volumetric flask. Using the C1V1 is equal to C2V2 formula, we can calculate C2, or the diluted concentration. This diluted concentration was found to be 0 0.0100 moles per liter. The dilution factor is determined by di dividing the higher concentration, the stock solution, by the diluted concentration. This gives 50 times or 50-fold dilution.